Chicago is the only, the real American city. New York is a city, but it's not American. Los Angeles is American, but it's not a city. Chicago is the American city. A civil conscience, a civil pride that I found rarely in other city in America and around the world. I mean, the, the Chicagoan really love their city, believe in their city, and that's why maybe there is this kind of renaissance now. The city is such a complex organism, not only of organization, but also of self-organization, that it's almost impossible to have a synthetic image of a city in, in any medium. The curator is, a, is somehow a junction maker, and so that's of course true in terms of exhibitions, creating uh, exhibitions being junctions of different artworks, but I think also the junction making of the curator is also making junctions between people. I'm very interested in how artists can have an impact on the city, which goes beyond you know, representation, that they can actually produce reality, and that of course leads us to Theaster the Gates, who in such an exemplary way, you know, is really uh, uh, transformative in Chicago. Chicago is a tale of many cities. There is so much that happened within all of the many different pockets, and it's also separate. Rebuild is a platform that's geared towards art and more so cultural development and the re transforming of communities on the south side of Chicago. And as an organization, we have those cores in mind and um, trying to ensure that the cores of black spaces, black people, and black objects matter, and doing transformative work with those in mind. Johnson Publishing most famously published Ebony and Jet magazine. Their flagship headquarters were on Michigan Avenue and the first building designed by a black architect on Michigan Avenue. 1971. His name is John Mutsasami. And at that point, as far as in Chicago, it was, it was, they had the largest collection of African-American corporate art and really a dedicated commitment to black artists and black creativity. DePaul Art Museum is a space where we are committed to presenting the work of Chicago artists, but in a kind of global dialogue. We are very interested in showing a wide variety of artists representing different experiences. We show a lot of women artists, LGBTQ artists, artists from the Asian, Black, Latin, next diasporas, um, because there's space, right? There's space, and we want to fill that space and be kind of correcting in art history for Chicago. The University of Chicago in the last 10 or 20 years has really deeply committed to the arts. We really think about what can we add to the richness of this landscape and thinking about what would it look like to create seminar style exhibitions in a museum that are for everyone, free for everyone, accessible to everyone, and can help you think about the stuff that's facing you in the course of your life, but the way art is presented. Our presence in the city of Chicago is an interesting one because we collect from ancient art all the way through contemporary art, and our collection is ever-changing, and we have programming and connections with organizations around the city that continue to enliven and enrich who we are. I think also in the history of the Art Institute's presence in Chicago, we had these collectors thinking in a very modern way, a very avant-garde way about art. We were the only museum to host the Armory Show in 1913, so this history of Impressionism, Modernism, and how it's been collected has had such a huge impact on the Art Institute and the core of who we are. Uh, we're standing out at Navy Pier, actually in preparation for the seventh edition of Expo Chicago. And this international fair is built on a grand legacy and tradition of Chicago hosting a great international art fair. We're quite proud to be partnering with our cultural institutions, our galleries, our artists, our civic leaders, our cultural leaders, really to tell the world that this is the time one should attend not just Expo Chicago, but be a part of a broad experience in our great city every September. The Terra Foundation's mission has been to create conversations and interesting ways in which people can interact with American art around the world, but also create a place where Chicagoans or people visiting Chicago realize that art is around them every day in every walk of life.